Okay, there we go. Oh, wait up. There we go. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Fearsome First Middle Keir at your service. This time I got it right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no thoughts of mutiny anymore, huh? Not yet. <laughs> Anyways, th this game... Yeah, welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Inferno Machine. But this game, well, it doesn't really have a menu screen or anything like that. It has this launcher from where you start new game or you resume play, which gets you to loading. And the last one here, 3.4, in the third level, where we in where we in the Tian Shan Mountains, I believe it was called. Yep, the yeah, Tian Shan River, close enough. Okay. You're not probably at least within the right language. Yeah, which is on the border of Kazakhstan, I believe it was. Either way, we are looking for four candles, of which we have already found three. And we need to find the fourth. Is that... Okay, for a moment I had thought my pic the screen had a dead pixel, but no, it was just a bit of water, I'm guessing. Maybe during one of these streams I've <laughs> talked a bit too loud or anything. But, uh, yeah. Uh, hold on a sec, did I for... Yeah, I... Good thing that I checked, because I'm pretty sure if we punctured the raft, which I'm pretty sure we've punctured it on every time we've gone down this thing, uh, we would have been literally dead in the water, and then well, yeah. dead underwater. Uh, I was told you needed to refill that the supply, and we have found where the fourth one is. You see, flew past it. He uh, was unable to row to, uh, to it. Yeah. Uh, we still can't kill the wolves or anything. But it is a bit curious that now it doesn't. A raft like... repair kit. Look what I found. A raft repair kit. Aha. A raft repair kit. Yeah, it, I found it a bit curious that you can't actually fight the wolves and can only scare them off. Then again, uh, yeah, Doctor Jones wouldn't really have a full reason to kill them. I'd say, but then get them out of the way. If he yeah. can scare them off, he might as well. Yeah, but it is, it is kind of a game for... You should not play games that allow you to scare things away like that. Yeah. Okay, now properly equipped. We get onto uh, the stop motion raft again. Sure, there are games where you accidentally scare a stag or a body, but... It's usually not a mechanic to keep wolves away by just shooting in the air or something. Yeah, yeah. Never shoot up in the air. Do ever do that. Yeah, that, that bullet is coming down somewhere. And yeah, it might be an absolutely microscopic chance to that, that rock is specifically there to puncture the, the stupid thing every time, huh? Uh, that bullet is coming down somewhere, and the the chance of it hitting something or someone is absolutely well mi microscopic I'd say almost. But it is still a good chance that if something gets hit by that, that it is going to die. Or it yeah. is going to get wounded pretty badly. Because that's still a piece of lead coming down at terminal velocity. Yeah, and then we have the idiots who all load the entire clip of machine gun ammo into the air. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in cases where that has happened that people have actually gotten killed from that. Yeah, for that basically... Well, you basically raise the odds bullet, and those shipping shoots a lot. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I, yeah, I think I people have died, and it's it's one of the movie tropes. I, I hope it's only done in the movies where it is so dumb. Hmm. Okay, we've been, we, there are, yeah, there's another path that we can get here. Did we take the wrong path this time? I, yeah, I think we took the wrong path. That we are supposed to go left. Because there is a small split further along the... No, the well, where we're supposed to go the other way. Yeah, I thought it was right, right and then right again, but no, it seems we need to go left. Okay. Well, at least we had that clarified again. 
Okay. Stuff like this is why I put in the, the stream dates when these uh, when I upload these video the recordings of these onto YouTube because it shows that I'm not just doing these one in a row, but there's sometimes a few days between. That's to well explain my idiocy. <laughs> Okay. Not well, only have to endure this stupid waterfall. Pardon. This stupid water rushing noise for like a, an extra five minutes because of that. Dead air. Okay. Hmm. Despite how rough this game looks in its you know, graphics and such, uh, I still like the. The animations are still mostly pretty good, like different, except for the fact that <laughs> when you're crawling, you're, you can base your whip, damn it. Yep, might as well get hit there again as well. Uh, the biggest animation issue I'd say is when you're crawling and you can see, you can see where the, uh, the legs and the ass you know, of the model you know, connect. Yeah, there's not really much smoothing gone going down. Come on, come on, come on, don't. There we go. Oh yeah, that's only a small thing that you only notice when you go crawling, I'd say. Otherwise, the animations look mostly fine, if you ask me, for the arrow. Yeah. Uh, I think it was straight here. And then we take a right, if there's another split. If not, we know how to, we know to get left, yeah, to go left there. And we still have a spider waiting for us here. Okay. Well, lucky this game isn't more advanced than it is, otherwise that spider totally would have jumped onto the raft, and that would have been other hell. <laughs> There's the split. Okay. No, no, no. Come on. Now we can't even see where we're going. It, uh. This this mechanic it does make sense. It does. I mean, I couldn't say that. But it is still a pain. Really annoying. I think you punctured the boat. Yeah, three times there. Okay. Luckily, it doesn't drain any faster if you get multiple punctures. It's more just yeah, you get an extra bit of damage taken off. So that is a mercy on it, but that does mean that we're out again. Now, so as nice as the mechanic is here, it doesn't fully make sense unless there's like a pressure plate underneath this thing that sets it off when you step off. And yeah, it disconnects after a time, which brings the platform back down again. Yeah, but otherwise... Uh, actually, yeah, for the need to bring it down, but also, if it doesn't it disconnect, then the eight blade they just keep them up and up, uh, basically break the machine. Yeah. Get lost, you. Okay. What's this? A raft repair kit. Now what? A raft repair kit. What have we here? A raft repair kit. Dr. Jones, more like Dr. Monologue. Okay, hopefully this time we can actually get onto the path. So, just carefully walk up to the edge. Get the raft again. This thing probably has more patches than uh, someone's 50-year-old teddy bear at this point. Oh, dear. Okay. I really hope we don't get stuck with trying to get around here. That, I'm guessing this part might have been the part of what's have frust you know, what frustrated me originally the most. Uh, come on, come on, come yes, there we go. Uh, it. This. this is the thing that will frustrate anyone regardless of age. Yeah. Our probably kids the most. So I will say I'm pretty sure I had a good amount of 
perhaps a bit too much patience for old games back in the day. Less so now, but I think that may mostly be because there's just such a bigger assortment. Oh, that, that rock there was really freaking mean to put in the corner there. But yeah. These days I just have so much more of a choice as to what games I would want to get and such. But it also means I have a lot less uh, time for each game. Yeah. Like, I had also a lot of patience with games. But there were some things that they had little patience for. And some I still do. And also, as an adult, <laughs> we can understand <laughs> what is in a, what is a poor game mechanic. Like, it's, a good, it's not, oh, it's, this is hard. But it's actually, no, this is poorly designed. Okay, there's a point of no return on the splits where it just pulls you forwards. Okay, that is going to get annoying. But oh yeah, yes, back in the day we also the just didn't have... We, we had to do with what we had, so... Yeah. But again, I will repeat this. There is a point where it is valid to be hard, but sometimes it's hard not because it's supposed to be hard, just because it was poorly designed. Yeah. And when it's hard because it was poorly designed, then it's a problem. Yeah, then it's more just plain bad part on the game. Yeah, what uh, is the developer's uh, idea? Take three. Whoops. Really? Oh, we take three bites. Go. Okay. Let's see if third time is the charm or if we're going to have to risk a fourth. Okay. Um. Well, we're we're playing this going to be? Uh, go ahead. Go ahead first. I said three times was a charm for me. I appreciate it. Take three bites to. Why was the subject in my food here? Damn it. Uh, yeah, I think it is pretty easy for anyone to see why this part would be so freaking annoying. Uh, I, I, will I will not be surprised if this is the most hated part for everyone for... Again, it's... Uh, at least for compared to other things that can be annoying in games, but that usually is really hated usually. At least there is some logic behind this. It would make sense for this thing, navigation to this, would be hard and challenging, and you have to push up rocks. That does make sense. This is kind of rare. Yeah. But it's still annoying. Okay, going to try and stick to the right side as best as possible. Oh, wait, wait. We still have to go past this bit first. Okay. If I go left around this rock, I should be able to line up decently well with the, the split off, the branch. I believe that's what it's typically called in waterways. The um, river branches. Oh, yeah. Come on! Yeah. Yeah. I get. It does make sense, but however, I feel like they could go with. They should have had a patch of you know, calm water there. Yeah, or just something that does not involve a raft. There we go. Um. Let's see if that. Let's see if it gets healed up or patched up. Or if it's just going, it's going to keep its health from that. But yeah, that would have gotten me in if it wasn't for the blast of bounce there. So take four. I don't need to put a time mark on this, you know, on the video of this one, of actual progress or something. Uh. Okay, did it get patched or is it still leaking? Okay, it got it, it got it has the sound, but it isn't going down. 
Yep, actually, that was our last one. So before we attempt, <laughs> before we attempt ruination, there we go. Let's see, we've already lost like 20 minutes to this. So I actually forgot to set the time. Okay, uh, no, you have 15 minutes. We are in at the moment. Uh, we started uh -huh. a raft five repair kit. What's this? A raft repair kit. Actually, I can hey. look on the side here. A raft repair kit. Yeah, 20 minutes recording, five minutes free stream. Okay, yeah. Uh. No need for the whip. I probably could have just put it down at the start of the water here, but oh well. Let's hope we aren't... Again, let's hope we're not just getting freaking stuck on this because of one badly designed water branch. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, I think I said last time that this was the first interaction I ever had with the Indiana Jones franchise. Okay. Uh, always that blasted rock. But, uh, yeah, maybe because of that I don't, or I never really have the same expectations as all other more original and older fans of the franchise. So, yeah, when I saw uh, when I saw Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull, the latest uh, of the movies, it actually didn't disturb me that uh, it great not disturb. It didn't bother me too much with what they went and stuff because uh, yeah, spoilers for that movie for anyone who might call, uh, care. And uh, there's aliens, but uh, for some reason people really freaking dislike that, despite all of the magic shit that happens in the other yes, movies. Yeah, okay. The, I, I like the Crystal Skull, and I like all of the movies so far. All, all the movies that have been done so far I've liked. And criticizing the Crystal Skull for you have aliens? What? There have we they go. not seen the other movies? Yeah. I, I don't really get where the complaint of it comes from. And then again, I don't know the franchise as well as others, so maybe I'd have to ask someone who does know it a lot better than me. Uh, okay, here's the thing, I, think, I, I don't think, and maybe there's one thing, like, there was a holy grail, which was a magic card, there was one immortal man who had drank before. It was Wait, still human. If you drank the one cup, you, um... Died. Into bones. There was the Ark of the Covenant that um, you open it and you melt and die. Yeah, because of ghosts. Did we miss yeah. something there? However, I think Crystal Stone was the first one they saw a, a non-human creature appear. Yeah, there's also, I, also sorry, once, uh, two other things that I uh, heard being complained about was the fact that it has someone with psychic powers, which again, all of the magic shit, or supposedly psychic powers, and yeah, just other smaller stuff that, uh, yeah, like the fridge scene, like it is, it is <laughs> utterly stupid and hilarious, but I wouldn't say it's that different from other shit we've seen in the Indiana Jones franchise. But then again, that might be because yeah, we're dealing with a game here, which was my first contact. A raft repair kit. Where there is here a raft repair well, kit. As with all the other Indiana Jones stuff, there's going to be magic shit, of course. Yeah. So. So maybe my tolerance level for it is just a lot higher or something. Uh, I think you you are just for I agree with you that that they people hate it. They had aliens like. Uh, that one I just say, come on. If you dislike the actor had aliens, then you have to probably take a proper look at the older movies and, and just probably somehow complete with what the other supernatural things. 
Uh, aliens aren't exactly supernatural. The, the fact that these are were supposed to be psychic aliens, yes, uh, that does fully match on or, or add on to it. Every, I think we've only missed that thing twice now. Oh dear. But yeah, it might just be me just lacking a certain understanding of the franchise or something. And yeah, what did I know we there, miss? There might be comics book that all than all the games. I think it did tell being supernatural and all that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there hasn't been a single Indiana Jones thing that hasn't dealt with the supernatural. And same with Tomb Raider stuff. Yeah, it almost forgot. Uh, oh, what is it called? Uh, the, the one when someone pulls out someone's beating heart. Uh, yeah, um... Which one was that called again? Yeah, what was that one called again? Temple of... Uh, Temple of Doom? Uh, yeah, Temple of Doom. Um, yeah, we had that sect to Kali, I believe, the, uh, the destroyer goddess. So, yeah, it's with them both, the creation and destroyer. Yeah, uh, Depending on which avatar they are, I know way too little about Kali to say he or she, but it seems to vary, I think. Yeah. So I have to look up about Carly too before I really say too much about them. Indeed, get out. But there yeah, I guess with all the times it was magical objects. With the Temple of Crystal were actually another species that appeared. Because I guess yeah. people got pissed off by this, I felt like. From here, you always feel like, really? Is that really too much of a step. Yeah, I, I think it's more in general just all of this stuff combined together that is people not interested or annoyed with the movie, to say it simply. Uh, I would call liking the movie. I actually had a good lot of it, but I thought it fine. Was it the best one? No. But it good, still good? Yes. Like, I like so far all Jurassic World or Jurassic Park movies. Despite the flaws, I will admit that the third movie of Jurassic Park could have used like 30 more minutes to flesh out the story more, get a bit more in depth. But I still like it. Damn it. But I still admit it has flaws. And what's the third Jurassic World Dominion movie? I liked it, as a good extended edition which people recommended. But I will admit that that one also suffered from the pandemic that. Yeah, the pandemic definitely ruined that they did get time enough to really polish it out and think things through. Yeah. I so think I give part it... of it might be that people just had um, a much higher standard they wanted to, the movie to meet or something. Yeah, but this case is more of uh, the pandemic really made it hard to work on it. And, he, and apparently, they want to place Ian Malcolm. Uh, Jeff Goldblum? May have? Yeah. Oh, took the problem. So um, apparently I... he kept coming up with new ideas almost every day that it it made people almost insane. Uh -huh. Oh, that damn thing. We're but... going to need a counter as how many times I missed the stupid thing and how many times the freaking crap springs a leak. Yeah. The... I'm happy with this an infinite amount of the repair kits. Yeah, we're, we're, go we're going to end up with a freaking ship of Theseus situation here, with this, where this raft is more patched than raft. Yeah. It's not sick, I'm all right. Shut up and get out. But uh, yeah, yeah the video, I still like it, but it's the one that I like the least. Like, I, I, that one has the most issues, but I know where the issues come from. Like, had the pandemic not happened, Maybe it will have been more polished and more better written. Perhaps, yeah. But I'm not gonna hate it. Or, again, I knew what happened, so to speak. So it's a bit hard to hate on it for... Let's, uh, let's be honest. Ruins pandemic, 
many games and many movies, not all of them, but many, suffered the things to the pandemic. Yep. Uh, right now we lost 25 minutes to this stupid uh, river. Uh, yeah, uh, I feel like they, this for this. Uh, a raft it sounded repair kit. great mm. on paper. A raft repair kit. Now yeah. what? A raft repair kit. But when kit. you execute this key mechanic, oh dear gosh, it gets frustrated. Yeah, maybe it would have been easier with like a controller or something. But yeah, we still have to fight the water. Yeah, not there. Uh, actually, I think I'm just going to start something. If we miss the... Th of course, not going to run the entire thing with that. If, I, if we miss again, I'm just going to load back here. We have a safe at the top. We're going to use it. That's going to save at least a little time. And having to run back all the time. Actually, I think we didn't have any uh, repair kits at the start of the stream. Yeah. Come on! We didn't even make contact there. I think you did? Okay. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure that it is supposed to be on that branch. Because there, there's the, all the machinery and such that we hadn't we haven't interacted with before. Yeah. Uh, okay, little bump. I was going to say I'm just going to speed run down these, but then we just stopped <laughs> instantly. Uh, but yeah, it, it, this is sort of like the type of ice level that people get really freaking annoyed with. Because you uh -oh. have a, a lot of uh, yeah. control that is lacking, and you're also being pushed forwards. Okay. Paddling backwards to try and get some more control. Uh, the bounciness also doesn't help. Uh, yeah, they 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 bring the sort of give this a little bit more for to re realize the problems that my this game uh, this this will ever may resolve in. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this game isn't really rated. That spectacularly, and I'm guessing this level is playing a big part in that. So played. Okay, let's grab these. Hey, Let, let's be honest with him. I think this one does that well. People yeah, just gave up. Kit. Yeah, like there's there's the whole. Uh, not really sure if you call it a stereotype these days, as with a lot of people, it's proven true. But there's a lot of gaming journalists and such with whom it's obvious that. Well, they have absolutely no skill at all with it. And yeah, they definitely would have they would have thrown this game out the freaking window. So putting a save here, and then going to put down another one at the branch. So yeah, we don't have to go back all the way again. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh Does this, does this rock have on one say the blue face? That's yeah, a little chain or rope or something that's supposed to make it easier to move around and such. Yeah, I just happened to look like a blue face and I also realized you got punctured before you hit the rock. Yeah, just oversized yeah. Uh, hitboxes. Another marker yeah. of the era. Yeah, that, that, that's... Uh. Okay. Going to pass the stupid thing. Oh, bloody heck, now I remember. As kid, many kids hated the ice levels. But more than underwater levels, since... Many other underwater levels were usually 
easy and loud, but I had not tried to do be too experimental with underwater levels and mechanics yet. They don't bounce. And paddle, 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 paddle. Okay, we even dodged. We even didn't get punctured. Okay. Nice. But yeah, Is there anywhere you can actually get off? I remember almost every kid I met hated the ice slide levels. I never mind winter levels of snow. But when you were to walk on ice, as a puzzle? Yeah. Uh, I think a good part of that might have been because a lot of kids just didn't have the patience to try and think ahead with those too much. Uh, I can speak for myself certainly with that. I did many times, but sometimes it was just a nightmare to think through. Yes, and I think it was many times people were just so, uh, said like this, the next Pokemon be game better not have the ice puzzle. Guess what? What's this? They did. And I I, 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 I cannot uh, hope they haven't done that puzzle every damn works. game. It's actually a fun little thing that I know about uh, the Diamond and Pearl remakes. Uh, because you can actually move in well, eight axes or eight directions with that or more. I, I don't know if it's just eight axis directions or fully... Uh, <clears throat> Where you can just fully turn in any direction, but you can <laughs> you can slip past the uh, ice puzzle in the ice gym there. Oh dear! Oh. I can think about about it, but sometimes just ice puzzle kids I know it a bit. But almost almost any mechanic that involved with uh, sliding on ice, like uh, you know. Platformers, where you suddenly so? you try not to slide off the, a bridge or something, but you only take a slight, slight step, and you're suddenly going mock free off the cliff. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that there was a ledge up here, but I presumed that there would be, since well, why else would there be an area on the other side from this to uh, jump to? <laughs> okay. This place looks like it might even be active. Well, with the barrels and such, it looks like this might actually be lived in still. Uh, let's see. Where do we jump to from here? Okay. Camera okay, deciding to. Uh, nope. I'm guessing we have to jump to the platform over here. Uh, since I'm unsure. Yep. I'm going to be saving a lot more from this point on, probably. Just to shortcut stuff like this. Okay. And... Okay, good reason to... Okay. I do like that it keeps in mind your last save. Jump on when it's going up. Okay. I'm guessing we need to jump to there then. It's going to be annoying to line up the jump for that. And okay, I thought all of this was just to get across. Okay, we didn't need to be perfectly lined up there. Oh, there's an idol. Right. I'm guessing we might have also been able to just jump from one of those plungers to the next, or crushers, or whatever they are. Wait, they look, do look familiar. I think they're meant to be for squeezing uh, grapes or something like that. The juicers. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they probably use this for... I was thinking otherwise butter, but then I realized you don't need barrel like these barrels for butter. Oh, there's a trauma kit over there. Uh, you might as well can grab that. Uh, trauma kit. Uh, sorry, what? A, a trauma kit. Oh. Not a traumatized kit, a trauma yeah. kit. 
I got food, you said trauma, uh, trauma kid. No, that's for it's the Five Nights at Freddy's games. <laughs> you have, have plenty of traumatized kids in there. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you have at least one traumatized kid in the uh, Jones movies. The one from Turbo Doom. Uh, I forget what their name was, or at least their nickname. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it wasn't too nice of a word to be precise. Uh, yeah, no, it, it could have been worse name. They, the, he, they could have given him way worse names. And there's the bloody candle. Like, it's still a bad name they gave him, but I could have gone way worse. We here? Another yeah. candle. I think he's actually supposed to show up in a, a, a book later on or something. I'm not entirely sure. Either way now, we've got yeah. the candle. I'm Wait. hoping we don't have to put those in a specific order or something. So that's going to be a next nuisance. It is a minor nuisance compared to the rest we be through. Yeah. I don't remember. Most kids in some action movies is not usually end up annoying. But. But okay, he was sometimes annoying, but not as annoying. Like, the, the one who was most annoying was the. At least in Tender Doom, the. I forgot what her name, the blonde. Yeah. I forget if she was in his girlfriend or at some point or another. Uh, may have been. Um, one, but she was screaming non-stop, and I feel, I feel actually the kid was in the middle one of the more competent kids compared to other movies where you have a uh, kid sidekick. Yeah, the sidekick. Like, yeah, there, 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 there has been a few good ones, but I also mean the movies that do, you feel like, why is that kid there? The, the, like, the, the kid is only there to make it family-friendly, somehow. Yeah. Okay, I, I had a feeling we were supposed to get off here for all of that, and yeah, we couldn't have jumped across the uh, the juicers, because the second one is broken, so the gap would have been too big. Hmm. Yeah. No need to quick draw, Dr. Jones. Is this sapphire or full on diamonds? I think that was a sapphire, but I'm pretty sure a sapphire will shoot you. We need, we need to quick draw against a sapphire. Yeah, they're, uh, they tend to be a bit... <clears throat> jewels tend to be a bit uh, slow as stone on the draw. Okay, that one was bad even <laughs> for me. <laughs> yeah, that was what? That's why I love things. It was too, too bad even for you. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, now that we have all of the blasted wax work, one last time on this stupid thing, and then we'll never see it again. Okay. Hello, Hello Ron. Ron. Uh, you missed out on all the frustration of trying to get the lost bleeding candle. I got the highlight reel then. Well, we yeah, I, I'm highly tempted. To... No, 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 we don't need to go back into the water. It's, be it's becoming almost Pavlovian now. <laughs> oh, yeah, one thing uh, I've been playing. Uh, I got a few. I got a new game. Actually, I got a bunch of games yesterday. I got The Darkness 2. I got. Uh, Tales from the Borderlands, the first okay. one, and I got Attack on Titan 2. I'm gonna post a picture of my character. I posted it on the vids, clips, and shows. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the first two I know are pretty good. Uh, actually, hmm. maybe I should add the Darkness 2 to the stream list at some point because it is a pretty fun game. All right. Also has co-op. Like, to do it. There's an actual co-op campaign. Yeah, I think for up to four people or something. Yeah, four people. It could be fun to try that out as well. Uh, no, let's see if we actually 
I really hope we don't need to put these in specific spots or light them in a specific way. That's the point to me. Oh, there we go. Okay, any position is good, or we just got it by blind luck. <laughs> okay, it's some very chunky gears. Honestly, at the point we're at, it's possible blind luck might be the way. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, okay, no quips or anything. There we go. Strange place for a one. And I'm pretty sure that means we're locked in. And again, we <laughs> get a low rating because of the time it took. Okay. We found eight treasures and okay, we got half of what we need for the secret map then. Let's see, I think we're still good on all our supplies. We've got five trauma kits, six poison kits, a bunch of herbs, which I believe these are just alternative trauma kits and such that we can just find out find out in the wilderness. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, so no need to get anything. Uh yeah. And on to the fourth level. Shambhala Sanctuary. Well, that's totally not creepy. Okay. Yeah, the 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 wall. Would you call it fruit singing? I think it was throat singing run through a few filters or something like that. Yeah, for they can either be relaxing to listen to or outright or terrifying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Just checking around. Um, wait. I know who that is. Hey, Tatum. You doing well there? Uh, oh, for... <laughs> Tatum, how you doing? <laughs> I thought I thought it was rude. I thought you meant the skeleton was potatoed the first. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. Killed by puns. Was I was just saying you, you lost the pun victim, but then you said Tatum, and I was just wait what? Oh good God! Ah uh, yeah, it's, that's. That's right. Uh, uh, for the record, your parents are assholes, Tatum. I've already said this before, but yeah, no, your parents are assholes. Uh, huh? what the other fuck happens? And it, good to hear this oh. better now. Hmm? Uh, it's on the gate server if you want to. This uh, seems like a I'm monastery, not gonna say anything. but the religion is unknown, right, is just... okay. at least to me. Tatum wants I'll to check say it out later then. Uh, no. No need to uh, talk about it if you don't want to talk about it, Tatum. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is where my... Except for the end of this uh, level, I'm pretty sure this is about where my uh, memories of the game mostly end. I know some more stuff about the lost level, or lost-ish level. And then uh, I believe the second area that we go looking for an artifact... Beyond that, I'm running about as blind as uh, yeah anyone else who would be studying this game from the start, I believe. Wait, yeah. you never finish it? Hmm. I know I got to the end at some point, and I'm pretty sure that I did finish the game. Though I'm not sure if that was with or without cheat codes or anything like that. And oh, this is a dead end on that. And I said this, Hulk Spectatum. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> at least good to hear that you're doing better now. And I hope that whatever... Uh, I, mm, if it was family that was the cause, then I can't really say that it, <laughs> it's unlikely to happen again. But hopefully it won't happen again. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. Okay. Uh, extra sorry to hear about that. Uh, 
allergic reactions are nothing to screw around with. Yeah. Th no, they're not. Th He's th gonna yeah, the, like the, there are different kinds of allergy, like there are some mild ones, and there are the more... Yeah, the one you just need to go to the hospital. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to keep this thing drawn, just in case of uh, hostiles again. Oh, hello. Whoa! <laughs> okay, nice of you to drop in, in Doctor. Life. No need to quick draw on the statue, yeah, doctor. I won't be on a diet. Let's see. This looks like a bell ringer of sorts. Uh, yeah, again, allergies are nothing to screw around. Like, like Tortillo said, some are, some allergy people have only mild allergy reactions, uh, but then there are the ones that well, your throat starts to swallow up and uh, not swallow up, just uh, swell that up. didn't work. I'm doing yeah, something wrong. Basically, basically, you have the, like a sneeze or itch, then you have the ones that outright can kill you. Yeah. So, yeah. That didn't work. Hmm. If you hear someone has an allergy, don't prank them with the, yeah. anything they're allergic to. Never do that. Like, unless you... No, it's a very mild reaction. If you don't know what level of reaction they have, just don't. Yeah. Just don't. I have uh, too many stories of uh, brats, Karens, and whatnot who had almost killed people just because they mock their allergies. Let's see, there's a switch over there. How many end up in jail and whatnot? Yeah. I if it's if I remember correctly, because this has been just only a, like more than a decade ago, uh, but supposedly I do have an allergy for something. We just never been able to figure out what the hell it is. Probably good idea to investigate that at some point. No, here's also another thing: some allergies you may have as a kid you may go away uh, when you grow up. Yeah, but likewise, you can also gain allergies. What happened here? Did the monks lose that faith too. all of a sudden? They didn't even bury their dead. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Uh, I grew up. I wasn't lactose intolerant. Then hmm. that I kind of became work. lactose intolerant, but I still eat cheese. So there's a noticeable degree of no. There's so you can just tell I like to take care of myself. Yeah. Okay. I Hmm. Okay, this is my me not knowing too much of like towards around. Like, can one die from it? I think it's more just uh it messes with your intestines. So less deadly and just more torment. Yeah. Uh, okay, here's it. I do have a maybe I don't know if I still had this allergy, but I am Maybe still allergic to sort of alien cats. Okay. However, it won't trigger immediately. Yeah, it we may have a family take friend who also doesn't like cat fur and such, or cat hairs, yeah. to be more accurate. It's more of I can't live with a cat. Like I can, I can pet a cat, I can greet a cat, but if I'm with a cat for more than a week. Then the allergy triggers. Okay. This has to be of course that didn't work. Okay. So, I, I've been able to sleep over with friends who had cats just fine. Just Ow. as long as not for a week. Okay, we, we have a family friend or uh, a, f a friend of my a, a friend and uh, ex colleague of my uh, mother's who has something similar in that. Uh, she doesn't have an immediate reaction or anything, uh, but she will start to sneeze up when near cat hair and such. Yeah, I don't know if I hmm. sneezed or I just coughed or what. I, I know it's mild. At least I think it was. But I was a damn tiny kid when this happened, so I don't know the details too much. Okay. There's something that obviously needs to be done around here, but nothing is working at the moment. 
There is a key, or there's a lock, so there must be a key somewhere around here. Let's see. I, I think I know what it is. Hmm? Have you checked under the front door carpet? Oh, uh, we're already in, so we can't really do that with... <laughs> Actually, thought so, since there's these things on the other side as well. Yeah, oh, wait, wait. So I have another Elder Galaxy I forgot about. I'm not going to chlorine. Okay. No, that one is not a cough, more of a unpleasant. Uh, how to say this? Let's see this, uh, it became a rash at the worst place that I actually had to have my private shower room as a kid. Okay. Yeah, yeah I think you get, I think you can get why and why, why kids can be both angels, but also bloody devils. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I don't think that is an or. Uh, I don't think it's that we need to do these things in an order or something. Something needs to be activated first before anything else will actually work. And I'm pretty sure we gave this one a pull before. Yes, we got this cinematic with it. Nope. Uh, wait, it has an icon. Yeah, of the uh, bell ringer thing upstairs. So I'm guessing we need to set the time or something. And then that thing will go out, open the gate, and let us out. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, we missed this. Uh, okay. We could have been missing our kneecaps there, but luckily it wasn't that big of a drop. Um, Alien. Hmm? You, you, you landed on the, you landed the skeleton's the groin. <laughs> yeah, oh, hello. Hello. Now, what in the name of biology was that? Okay, people who complained was aliens in Crystal Skull. Behold! Well, Ice it's not an alien. Rockets in the inside of Dad's old clock. Book and video games already had him do weirder shit. Yeah. And a lot of people just said aliens is too stupid in Crystal Skull. It's like, you sure? Y you sure? Because. <laughs> Even Rome agrees with us, Hill. Even Rome agrees with us. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, hello. Uh, come here, Rob. I just want to give you a hug now. Actually, okay. now you just imagine that if Rome met me in real life, he'd probably somehow be terrified to get a hug from me for some reason. Likely. Uh, let's see. I think we can make the jump to that, but I'm definitely going to save before the attempt is made. Yeah, just don't so, throw me first. There we go. 4.1. And go. Nope. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, success. Yeah, at, at least we're not dead. It. Task failed successfully. I mean, I mean, at the point we're at, I'm pretty sure Indy's kneecaps are pretty much dust, but hey, we at least made it. Yeah, I, I, I think his kneecaps are back in freaking Peru. Uh, Peru? No, no, that, that, that's Lara Croft. No, actually, the first movie, like the prologue yeah. section, was in Peru. Oh, these things spit. Luckily, they oh, shot on I one hit, though. Oh, God, it was in Peru. Okay, I, I, I don't think I realized it was in Peru, the, the part with the... Uh... Wait. Is it the one where he... The ball ...uses a bag to remove a statuette? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I did not know that was in Peru. Now that you, now that you mentioned it, I think I remember that, um, that map that we can buy. I think that opens up a, a secret level that basically copies that whole area. 
Oh, good job. Yeah, the secret level is basically the prologue of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh dear. Basically, the damn thing that probably created a troop of uh, boulder traps. Yeah. And, well, a, a million memes about uh, those moving those uh, things over pressure plates. Yeah. Okay. Uh, someone been rather inventive and funny about uh, recreating or doing that uh, trick differently, but then there are some who you just wonder why? Yeah. Just why? Like, I think the worst one is... Well... Doing number two on it. Yeah, I was, I was going to guess that, and my guess yeah. was accurate. I forgot which one that... What show or comic that did that, I just found... I just... I think it was at that moment I just... Looked away... Now put what? my... Face in both my hand palms and your side. Can you repeat the quote? I might have an idea what you're talking about. Sounds like something oh. South Park would do. Oh goodness, I would not be surprised with a South Park. It sounds like a typical South Park thing to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit split on South Park sometimes. Yeah, and what were you to say that, Rob? Just say that it might not be South Park. <laughs> really, really. Oh, Straight through God. the freaking pole. Uh, and that is why we make saves. <laughs> oh, dear uh, God. But I, it's that I have. I sort of heard what you were saying, and my brain's going. I think I read something that in a comic, but I need to, like, at least the part of the quote you said. Yeah, no, I think in this case, I may not need the comic more of, I think I may see recently in one of those uh, memes slash uh, funny D&D use thingies videos, like uh, from The Click. Okay. And other YouTubers okay. like him. I just don't remember which works. one, for they may not mention on, from where the comic was from. Okay. And now we need to get our way up again. And this time I'm going to save before that last jump. Yeah, do that. I, I didn't expect to go completely through the damn thing. <laughs> Uh. Okay, line up a bit, and there we go. Okay, uh, but yeah, me and South Park, I've never really watched it much, if any at all. Like, I've seen, like, perhaps an episode or two or three in my lifetime, but it seems I've, I've always had the luck of uh, getting uh, to see the bad episodes or something. Because I've heard that, in general, or at least early on, uh, South Park now. was highly regarded. This uh, it but was. But that's just been uh, declining with age. Yeah, like, I have seen some of them, uh, some of them were better, or at least somewhat tolerable, but many of them, already back then, were cringy, at least to me. I, I never really liked them. I usually just outright hate Southwalk, then I just felt I tolerate them. Now it's more slight tolerance, but kind of dislike. Basically, you just don't really care about Southwalk. Yeah. yeah. There's only a uh, few jokes I find funny there. And that's probably the ones that probably at this point have just been need to death. Uh, yeah. Um, in my case, uh, I guess I watched. I've actually watched South Park in like probably what the program equivalent. 
elementary school, well, late elementary. Basically, we have, like, we have kindergarten, elementary, and then high school. Okay. They showed so, that at school, or was that just no, your age then? That's just because I stumbled onto it on MTV at the time. Well, my bro well, my cousin watched it a lot, and I stumbled into it as well. Okay. Oh, you poor and... thing. Well, I watched a few episodes when I was younger, and my sense of humor was a lot cringier. I think about the first episode I watched was the one where somehow attempts at making a sex ed class resulted in literally the ending of of resulted in the boys and girls doing recreating the ending of Mad Max 2. Okay. What? That I have a lot of those weird ones. Like the the kids just wanted to ask at some point what a condom is, then suddenly all the adults in that town make it legal to sell condoms for 12 euros. I just that episode just made me. I think that's what a same cry. I think that might be the same episode. Okay, then I did. Then <laughs> that, I then there's a good reason I stopped watching it then. What do you think? The kids didn't even know what the fucking condom was for. They just thought, like, I think the fat Bunny one, balloon. Cartman, just thought he, just, he was just, like, to piss. And once they figured that out, once they were basically told what they were supposed to be for, not only did they freak out, the girls and the boys, like I said, literally reenacted the ending of Mad Max 2, tried to kill each other. Oh dear. Oh good gosh, no, I remember the start of that, that episode, I just... I hate oh. Carton. Yeah. Yeah, hey, nobody is supposed to like Cartman. You're... So, Cartman is one of those love-to-hate characters. Yeah. You know what, I can't... I don't think I can say what he did at the start of that episode on Twitch. There's a lot it's of things about South Park we can't say. Yeah, it's just, there's so much things done, I just wonder, why? Have they forgotten how old this character, like, I know kids are not as incensed as people want them to think, but there are also limits to that uh, other way as well. Uh, okay, so that makes it a lot easier yeah, I think the more we speak on it, the more I realize I actually still really hate South uh, it had its place for a, a time where oh, yeah. yeah it's it's its purpose was to make fun of yeah stupid stuff and such or stupid uh, like a at, at first I was I thought what you were going to say was that it was the parents overreacting to sex ed or something uh but yeah yeah I I th Personally, I never really thought too highly of South Park. I know it had its place, but uh, yeah, nowadays I think they're just trying to chase things too much or something. Like they can make yeah. those episodes really freaking quick, like in a week or something. Ugh, probably. Like, like, the early ones at least had some meaning to them. At hmm. least that didn't quite work. You could sort of respect, but a lot of it, especially now, just. Instead of poking fun, I use a more of outright unnecessary mocking or just very conflicting messages. Let's say that. Okay. Yeah, can we break this? Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, the monks over here knew how to make bulletproof stained glass. <laughs> Unless that's not glass. Can we solve the yes. crystal for we know? An interesting gadget. Okay, I had a feeling we could push it because, well, we've got a bell ringer and we've got a rope over there that is very obviously tied to a bell. We just need to uh, make one and two go together to make three. Yeah, it also kind of sounds like the mechanism next to the statue might be stuck. 
Yeah, like, I, I don't know I if that's supposed to be... Clicking... Uh, is it gone? Actually, actually, yeah, it might be stuck. I thought you, yeah, actually, I thought yeah, you were it referring to like the stuck. clicking on Renault. It, it goes back and forth, it doesn't... Hmm. Okay, yeah, you're doing something. I was to say that it is stuck or timer, but that looks stuck. All the animators for the game made an oversight. I, I thought you were talking about the uh, that down there. Hmm. I, I don't know much. I don't know much about clockworks, so it might actually be that it's supposed to work like that. No, it's supposed mm. to turn around properly, not go back and forth. True, but well, with the clock that is. But this isn't the clock. This is just tied to the the ringer. <laughs> okay, bounce off of everything. Uh, ah. Rob, how, how worse are you about Indiana Jones? I know the movies. I know. I played Lego Indiana Jones back when I had a working CD f for the uh, Wii. Okay. And. I like the movies. I may be one of the few people who can actually say I liked Kingdom of the Crystal Skull and mean it. Okay, that... We did this one before, that caused it to spin. Uh, Rom, I say, tell you, welcome to the club, for we also liked the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. And liked it, with a bit out lying. Hey, I'm not alone. Missing? Yeah, like, it might not be the perfect one, but it was still enjoyable and fun. It's still good. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> and only uh, remain. So that was a case of just a door opening up into nothing. I, th I think the only ever time I've seen something like that was in one of the Jackie Chan movies in a construction site and even there it didn't make sense where the hell there was a door to nowhere oh dear I, I, remember, I remember a door to nowhere in the movie hardcore henry because like at the beginning of the movie they're trying to escape and henry sees a door that's labeled exit and tries to open it and they're on a they're they're in an airship but yeah didn't know that because he just woke up uh, Who the heck is Hardcore Henry? It sounds it's like a, a recent comedy or something. No, it's a movie that came out in like 2016. It's basically literally all shot from the perspective of the protagonist. Okay, I think I've heard of something like that. It's an action movie with um, also save, so that you don't yeah. actually... Uh, hang on, I can get you one of the scenes from Hardcore Henry. Okay. Let's see, are what we even supposed to go out here? Oh, there's something down there. Yeah. Oh, the reason I ask you about Indian News here, by the way, Rom is... Do you remember the blonde and the kids' names from Temple of Doom? Sure. Uh, wait, what was his name again, the kid? Well, I... Well, everybody calls him Short Round. Okay, that was it. I... I knew okay, it was it, Short something. Okay, Short Round is not... That's not bad, really. Yeah. It says he's a kid, so he's short, hence that, but... As I, that's, like I said, they could have gone way worse. I think they, he was supposed to have another name they choose to not do due to how bad it was. A good chance they could have gone with uh, a lot. Looking at the time that the movie was made, they could have gone with a lot of words uh, that would have been very uh, not nice. Yeah. Yeah, or just outright cringy. No, if I remember correctly, this causes it to spin. Like a League of Legends player. What the? Okay. Good. Yes. That sets it to oh. noon or something immediately. Uh, go back. I thought my 
headset to me it needed to resource, but it doesn't. Weird. Hmm. I, I've had it happen at times that my uh, that my uh, headset just disconnects for some reason. Mine never done that. Like it will only disconnect. Like uh, like if there's no one has been talking for uh, quite a while. And I mean, no one, like, I should have not talked, you should not have talked. There should not be any sound from Discord. Then it may turn off and think, all right, it's not being used. So it turns off the, for that reason. What is that noise now? It sounds like something is scraping or something. Yeah, honestly, it kind of sounds like an alarm. Yeah, I agree with Rom. This sounds kinda out of place. Yeah, they they've got clockwork working here, not uh, automated security systems. Though, if at some point a mechanical head pops out of the ceiling and starts shooting us, then I'm guessing the builders will have had a hand in this. And that was a thief reference. Yeah, actually, I, well, I haven't played Thief. I do own the games, and I mostly know it from TV, from Civic's videos. Okay. Oh, dear God. Okay, 4.4. 4. There we go. And there's another icicle there. Okay, the little shit's explosion on death also causes damage. Okay. What is that? I think it might be an audio glitch or something. Hmm. And here's the bell. Yeah, unless there's something vibrating in the. Don't take that out of context! What no, is going on? Wrong. There we go. Okay, is that going to bring the bell up? There's some writing etched in the bronze. Ring for the master. As I remember, bells are rung on the hour. What time is it? I don't want to wait around till high noon. Hey, kid. Wait, what? The rings <laughs> kick it. Oh, kick? Uh, I thought you said chicken. <laughs> I thought so as well. <laughs> I'm wondering, what do you say, say to Edith? He's a chicken for not kicking it. <laughs> or, or not waiting uh, for that long, I mean. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think kicking it would make much of a noise as it is now, since it's all well, set on the floor so the sound wouldn't travel. Oh, dear God. Uh, Thank God, it's just What is that horror. bloody noise? Yeah, uh, is it a sound glitch or this? Is it sound glitch, alarm, or something scraping us, vibrating against something? I think it's an audio glitch, so let's do a quick save. 4.5. Okay, and then we load, see if it's still there. It is. Okay, that... I hope this isn't going to stick around. Hmm. Okay, how do we get this dumb thing to move? Also, how do we even get the bell up? Like, we've got the text oh. in the office on it now, but we didn't find a button to bring it up. I think I know or... what we need to do. We need to... Get the bell up so they can come over and hit it. Yeah. Hmm. That didn't quite work. There's a mechanism missing somewhere. Oh, hello. I forgot about this one. We can still go up a bit. And I'm guessing the mechanism to lift it is around here. This audio glitch could have been a hell of a lot worse, I will say that. 
I just hope if... it doesn't stick around. And if it does, we'll have to reload before it. Which was 4.2, I believe. And it's still there. Wait. It sounds different. I think it sounds the same. No, it has it has changed. Does it sound different to you, Ron? Can we push this thing? What this guy really wants to do is ring that bell. It sounds louder. What this guy really wants to do is ring that bell. This but this one opened up the gates. Will it close them again? Okay. It's not going to help us though. So again. That one extended the floors. Speaking of, we can get that ruby over there. So. Indy, come on. I know there's one overhead. Okay, now he's grabbing onto the wrong one, though. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we'll just go the long way then for the moment. <sighs> yeah, okay, yeah, the, the sound has become more intensified. So it might not be a sound glitch. Okay, then we go down again. I'm setting off the clock, or setting the clock to noon caused the sound, I'm pretty sure. So maybe if we do that again, we can stop it. Ow. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a med kit wasted. Okay. Is this going to stop it, or is it just going to make it worse? This would cause it to spin, but how are we supposed to move it then? We can't push it. Hmm. Is there any button here I've missed or something? Why is that lantern off? Wait, can you pull these buttons? Yeah, that's back to the ring button. Lever. And uh, no, we can't pull them. We can only get the f the noon one out with the. Just need the key. Let's see, we don't have any keys. Let's see. Did I completely miss a key or something? Let's take a quick look here again. No keys or anything. Typically, those would be Arrested. put on this pedestal. Hmm? Hmm? Have any of you ever watched Arrested Development? I think I've I, heard of it. I heard of it, and I seem to have seen hints on 
problem is that people loved it and are angry that they didn't get a new season. They did get a couple new seasons on Netflix, but people are mixed about the newer seasons. Anyways, here's an out of clip, an out of context clip. What? I'm guessing there was a joke in that. <laughs> Yes. Oh. I hmm. know well, I feel dumb. But yeah, I, I flip on the video thing. I'm not jumping in there. I'll freeze. Is there anything on this side here? No. I'm probably gonna check that video later. Nothing up Ready? there. Yeah, be fun at times. Okay, I'm just going to load back to when that noise wasn't there. Just to check. Uh, let's see, 4.3. Was it here? Okay, no, it's not. Uh, there is the little thing down here that we were going to grab. The clock is already working. Now what? Am I wrong? Paused it again then. Hmm. Like, am I just being completely oblivious to the key or something? Actually, I would not be surprised if we get the key by solving the damn clock. Probably. Though I think that. I think the clock puzzle here is supposed to open up that big gate on the other side. Uh, though what we get from that, uh, I have no guess to. It would be a really big f uh, <laughs> door to just hide a key behind. Like the world's biggest cupboard, uh, cupboard or something. But we'll have to see. And I might need to go look it up actually. So let's have another look around here. Let's... Okay. Uh, is it open already? No, it's not. Let's see. Come on, response. I probably should up. Yeah, uh, I probably should get a better phone or uh, than the one I typically use, because it's really uh, it's really slow to respond sometimes. Let's see. Is there anything with this? Since okay, we can't interact with it. Wait, that window. I think it gave us a clue. Okay. It's just a face. We've no, seen that's... that face before. It's by the yeah, clock. The... Let's see. Put down a save here in case we miss this jump. 4.6. Now without the audio glitch. Oop, almost fell off. Wait a minute, I know it was an audio glitch. Okay. At least we now know what may have killed the uh, monk. Yeah. Okay. I think there were only two here. And that op opening that up does nothing since the bridge is out. So let's just pull this thing up. Or <clears throat> open up the ladders and such. Okay. Um, the There's some writing etched in the bronze. Ring for the master. As I remember, puzzle? bells are rung on the hour. What time is it? I don't want to wait around till high noon. A 
screw off with those fucking things. Let's see. Game FAQs, maybe you have a something. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, just going to glance through this. Uh, okay, does the Q&A have to be at the top of this? Well, let's see. Uh, hmm. yeah, it, it's, it's one of those step-by-step -step ones. Okay, let me just find in page, then clock. That could give me the general direction. Okay. Missing a fucking treasure. A window, yes. Okay. Uh, that is one step less. Also, let's just heal up before I fall down somewhere big again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Find the level that is south of the clock. Okay, treasure. Okay, apparently there was something underneath the bell, but I don't really feel like going down and up again. Uh, to match the hour, hands. And the clock. Okay, Archie was spinning. The point is now to reach the lever by the bell before the hour is over. Oh, okay, so that's what it is. I, I thought... <clears throat> I thought that uh, the lever th that caused it to spin over here was the same as the other one over there. But that both would set it spinning. But no. Uh, this one over here causes it to spin and the other one will move it once okay. it is spinning. Okay. So we have to speed run a bit. Uh, let's. Oh dear. We're also going to ignore the ruby over there since we've grabbed it enough times. And this time let's not jump down here to hurt ourselves. Okay. And yeah, then we'll just quickly have to rush over. Okay. Uh, I would have liked it if the uh, if we pulled the other lever on the other side and it would have brought the thing over, but it wouldn't start spinning once we pulled this one. Basically, as a hint, that you need to pull this one first and then the other one. Okay, so that magnet thing, I'm guessing. He's going to pull it over. And then missed the jump. And there's that face we spoke about. And I think I now know what the audio glitch was. It was the countdown from that. But it was just a lot louder. Okay, we have until the figurative hour is over to move it over. Put that away. Yeah, see, there is the noise. Or there was the noise. <clears throat> okay, nice little puzzle, but could have uh, used a bit more hinting. Come on. Did we make that on time? Hmm. That didn't quite work. Okay. Hmm. Were we too slow or was it too fast on the count or something? Let's see. Hmm. It's really not much time that we get. 
right, see, there's no way to climb ov up over here, so we have to go around. Uh, at least it's less frustrating than the river. Yeah. Okay. 4.7. I think, okay, the minute hand is supposed to get pulled to it as well, but I'm guessing it was too far away this time. Yeah, that is the minute hand. It's going per second more, but still. Um, yeah, let's wait for it to get closer to the other one so that we should have the most amount of time that we can. Okay. Too early. Okay, didn't seem to be affected this time. Okay, no falling this time. weapon. It is still spinning. Okay. I think we can make it. get too far away to hear it, so did we make it? There we go. There we go. Yep, yep. Hello. Hello, young man. You ran. That's right, I did. And you want my help. Do I? To yes. tell you the truth, I'm kind of lost. But well, to be you fair, we kind of just need to open the door. As you have guessed, a man from the desert came to us long ago with the spinning idol. For centuries, we have lived with his evil legacy. Take it, and our blessing be upon you. Show me the way. Ugh, I am too old and infirm. To be of any how service, many I must recover my former strength. Media archaeology, media adventure archaeologist. Requires a certain characters like golden you know, like Lara or okay. Indy golden or treasure. Where is it? Nathan Drake, well, just sort of in the treasury, of course. Take this; it may help you. There we have the bloody key. Hey, there's a key. Also, uh, were you just hanging into that thing, or did you just poof into existence in there? She might have just decided to exist right now. I think she was thing. inside before yeah. it lifted a tire floor with the bell on it. No, the, the, it closed underneath. Uh, the hatch underneath closed. Oh. So, uh, you were saying, Ron? I think about any time... Like characters like Lara Croft or Nathan Drake or even Indiana Jones make a discovery of the century. Somehow it also results in a massive amount of destruction on the way over. What have we here? Yeah. Or somehow yeah. starts up at the end of the world scenario. This is the apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah, you'd sure think at some point they would, uh, a government somewhere would go, no more fucking adventurers. We've had like five apocalypses in, in the last month. Go, <laughs> go somewhere else. Um, wasn't that almost a plot of the new DuckTales? Don't actually know. I... We've seen it, Hillian. It was not a governor, just someone had a similar idea. 
Now, it wasn't that he wanted to end the world, he just wanted to remove adventure from the world or something because it was inefficient and such. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing about. He wanted to stop all adventures. Though he did have a bit of a point door. with the chaos it caused. Sorry for interrupting. No, that's fine. Um, but seriously, like, in Uncharted 3, with only three bullets, Drake manages to sink an entire fucking city into the sand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's going to be interesting to find out how the hell he pulls that off. Okay, the push is automatically. Okay, we've got a water flow, but what for? Never mind. It's some kind of switch. Okay, are, we, are we going to need to forge something here or something? Let's see. Okay, uh, high school. Uh, actually, no, we gotta leave mostly because oh, we agreed on leaving. We're going to have mm -hmm. to, like. Actually, me, my mom, and my brother decided we let's just go outside for a bit because we are really getting sick of being stuck in here. Okay. So, we're just gonna leave. I'm gonna go take a shower, all that stuff, and. And we'll just go and hang around. So, you guys have fun. Good luck with the rest of the Infernal Machine. <laughs> okay, right. thanks. And good luck out there. Yeah, good thank luck you. and thank you for joining. Yeah, as always. Uh, I guess we need to Welcome. jump across. Uh, Tatum, I don't really know if you're still there, but uh, thank you for coming over. And hope things are going well. Everybody have a good night. See ya. See you, NBC! Okay, we've got the button here, we've got a giant-ass flipper, or whatever that is. It looks like it's supposed to smack someone in the face if they come through the door. Wait, what? Like this thing right next to Indy here. Uh... <coughs> that there. We can't reach it, with a jump at least. But it, it sort of looks like it's supposed to just come down, bend, go around the bend, and smack someone in the face. What? Ow. Okay. Uh, mo loading mostly because <laughs> the ladder has been raised. So they, I'm pretty sure they expect you not to screw up that jump. That thing in the middle there, not the shutter. Also, how does an ancient monastery have a shutter? This is going to get annoying if I keep messing up these jumps. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> Yeah, I'll still need to look at getting the Uncharted games, like, I already have one, though not the DLC for it, or expansion, or whatever you'd call it. Um, yeah, I'll see if I can, I'll see if I can get that separate somehow, or likely to be, <laughs> this, I should be able to somewhere, probably on the PlayStation Store, and let's just overwrite this one. Huh, no complaint about, are you sure you want to overwrite? Okay. But uh, yeah, it, it'll be interesting to play those games as well, since basically both of us know very little about it. So it'll be completely fresh with uh, well, what we learn of it and our reactions to everything. Yeah. Most everything. Only, only reason I realize it's supposed to be sort of like Tomb Raider and the Undeons, but it has a supernatural element. Like I thought it. First, they were supposed to be just the more boring treasure hunter, like they find a treasure. That's it, but. I saw a, a little short clip from the newest one, 
I think. We talked about portals and creatures that came out. And then I realized, oh, I may have misunderstood Uncharted quite a lot. Yeah. Like, is there ever an adventure game these days? Pretty sure I've said this before, but if there's an adventure game, there's going to be some mystical bullshit happening sooner or later. Yeah. So can we check this book? Look, the second book of Aristotle's Poetics. You don't see that on every shelf. Didn't expect him to actually react to it. Huh. But yeah, all the times I've seen clips of those games, they did not give me the impression at all of being Indiana Jones and uh, Tomb Raider like in that level. Just, you're on an online island, you're on an unknown jungle, like they were just in an unknown territory. And maybe had some special crocodile that was just legging there for some random reason to just be an elite boss. Okay. But after that clip, I started to realize, oh, that is probably something more just like with in the Jones and Tomb Raider. Yeah, they don't want to spoil the surprise, so it looks a bit generic, actually. Yeah. And that probably tr tricked me to ignore it. So are we even going in the right direction with this or something? Where are we even supposed to go? Can I even look around or anything like that? <laughs> the way he dangles. Oh, okay, that's back there. Oh, we are, Yeah, we definitely need to go the other way. <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm. There is a bit of a drawback if you're, yeah, if the place is perhaps designed before the uh, actual level gets in. Actually, no, that, that should happen at the same time, level design and architecture design, since well, it's part of the level. Yeah. It would have just been nice if there was a little stop earlier. So, yeah, we didn't go all the way there. That, that probably would have looked rather obvious in the design. Hmm. Either way, though, we'll see what we'll find over this way. Yeah. yeah. Okay, just, just to remember here. After today, there won't be stream for a few days, correct? Uh, I won't be able to stream tomorrow. Uh, we can't. We might be able to stream the day after that, though, depending on how things go with the night shifts. And, well, the cavity filling. Okay, is there something I'm missing or something? Yeah, and... Did you have another night shift on the same day as cavity filling? Yep. So that's going to be absolute hell because I won't be able to get in a full eight hours sleep before I need to leave for the appointment. Which is more reason for me to wonder if it's even... smart to do a stream? Like, uh, if it helps you relax, sure, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, <laughs> it might just be just a random nonsense stream. And it looks like either way we find a dead end. Unless, is this a different window or something? No, it's not. Okay, then what, what is the entire point of this? To get back to there or something? But didn't we already climb up there? Um. Hmm. That's the bell tower. We're across from that. Okay. Hmm. What is the entire point of this area then? Or am I just completely missing it? Hmm. I'm mean, gonna be surprised to be missing something. End, but there's a window to the outside over there. Okay, okay, that's... Wait, uh, there's a door. door. Wait, did we... What, did we get hurt by something there? I think you hit something and... Uh, hit it. Go, go back, go back. Hmm? There's a door for you to push. Nope, because there's... We can't... Yep, there we... It won't budge. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we need to go from one window to the other. 
Okay. Hmm. And the problem was a window there, so you could shoot the already broken window so you can climb through it then, I guess. Yep. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, we still have 15 minutes left, about to the second, according to the timer on OBS, that is. Okay. Uh, not as much progress as the first level, but then again, we also had the tutorial level there. And just the freaking annoyance of the water level. Yeah, I would not be surprised if that water le uh, river level, uh, we call it a river level, Aha. took Medicinal way too herbs. much time than needed. Yeah. Medicinal herbs. Like, I, I'd, I'd like to see someone try and speedrun that. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, you used to this, find a video that several people speedrunning it without a single issue. This might work as a flower pot. What? Okay. Hmm. We don't have anything that's like... Well, we have these medicinal things. But, yeah, those are for healing. Uh, are we missing something? Um, let's see. Wait. I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything downstairs. Don't need handles again, do we? Okay, at least we have easy access to the room. We just, yeah, need to find whatever we need to put in that. Hmm. Uh, okay, is... Yeah, we are missing something here. Let's see. Would it be nice if this was an extended ladder instead of moving the entire thing up? Actually, I think we can just... Hmm. No, that, that is going to be for sunlight. Okay, we need to make a plant grow then. Uh, we didn't check the other side here. We have water in there now. Hmm. Is the clock ticking? This just leads back outside, and I don't think there's anything for us to find here again. Hmm. Unless... Okay, it's the wolf over there. Is it candles? No, 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 come on. Uh, yeah, I'm just... I'm not going to go the long way around. <laughs> does mean that we have to do the swinging part again, but I think we'd rather... Hold on a second. Okay, no. I, I thought that'd be something to swing from there, but... Um, I'm guessing we go, we're going to lower that flower pot holder thing. Use that to swing off of it. To open up the shutter. Also, seriously, why does this door only open temporarily? Hold on. Okay. Yeah, this is new. Whoa. Okay, they explode hard when they get close like that. Okay, definitely going to need to watch out for well, them getting oh. close. Oh. Poor buggers. Yeah, died in their sleep. Let's see. What is up here before we start getting to the ladder on the sides? Unless this leads to the same place. Okay, simple enough. Okay. It goes up further. Some more plants. Aha! Medicinal yeah. herbs. 
I think these herbs act just the same. What's this? Thank you. As the med kits and trauma kits. So a full circle and two full circles. Okay. Now, what are we going to find up here? Hopefully yeah. what we may need in the other room you found earlier. Yeah, kind of going to need to because there's not much else where we can go. What? What's this? Aha! I've found the great monastic seal. Kami's again. I'm beginning to hate those guys. Okay, that's going to complicate me. Oh. Okay, he's completely mummified. Wait, are, are we going to need to... Are we going to need to put the seal in that thing or something? Hmm. Possibly. Okay. Either way, we're going to have to deal with the Russian soldiers again. Okay. Uh, might as well pull... Okay, I didn't expect you to show up this fast. Okay, yeah, we might... Hmm. We might have more need for the med kits and such than I thought we might need. Probably Especially if they're just going were... to blindside me like that. Uh, probably why they were dead to begin with. Okay. Uh, grab your ammo. And then we climb up here. And yeah, I guess we need to put that seal up on the thing. I don't know why we would want to put the seal up in that thing and then bring it down to... Unless there's like a flower in the seal or something. Could also just be uh, him making a joke. Hmm. You do know Indian Yos does jokes, right? Yeah, just a bit skeptical on that bit being a joke instead of a hint of some sort. Uh, we'll have to see. Ooh. Wait, is there some... Is there one of you up here? Wait, I can get why they'd be downstairs. Since that's ground level. Okay. Might as well get it. This look is a dead end. Hmm. But there's a window to the outside over there. Okay, we didn't get hurt this time, so I'm guessing we got randomly hit by flying glass. Ow. Okay. Oh, it, it's actually a full heal. I thought it would just fill up two uh, two circles. Are, are... Fast climber. Okay. I'm hoping they're not going to be taking pot shots at us as we do this. And I also really hope that this is what we need to put there. It's, like, it's not like we have anything else to put in there. Yeah. I just hope they don't start trying to shoot your fingers. So that will just be a low blow. Yeah. Though we did pull that on the uh, the final... not a, <clears throat> On that uh, creature in the anniversary. Well, that was more self-defense. Yeah. Okay. Does this thing actually go in here? Well, that didn't work. I'm doing something wrong. Okay. At least the shortcut is open. We can get our medicine. Look what I found. Medis now what? Medicinal herbs. But where does that thing go then? Hmm. Yeah, Is there anything obvious on the walls or something to put it in? Hmm. 
Let's see. Or is there something outside to use it with? There should be nothing with it in the clock tower. Actually, there, there's the big-ass doors, but I think that's the end of level. Okay, I'm going to put down a save here, then we're going to run outside, get into a gunfight. Uh, 4.10. And maybe there is something outside to use it on. Maybe to keep the door open. Oh, that's a bunch of you. Luckily, this does more damage than the normal pistol. Thank you. Okay. Door is probably falling closed by now. Oh no? It, it, Never mind. It just didn't do so without a sound. But it just did so without a sound. Uh, yeah, there's, there's the windmill. From just a bit of <laughs> scenery dressing now. Uh, yeah, makes sense. It's not of importance anymore. Okay, but where do we put this thing? Do we really have to just climb around again for some reason? Let's see. To the left and up, and then we can go around. Uh, so, uh, Indy is reacting to single presses here. I can hold it down, but that doesn't mean he's just going to keep going and stop mid uh, square. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, if we can't find where we need to put this thing, I'm just going to look it up before next stream. So we don't have to go running around blind as to where it does need to go. Yeah, it's probably for the best sense. It can be frustrating for both yourself and possibly the viewers to see you fail too much and blind like... There's sometimes some enjoyment from it, but then there's also the time where it can even first, you know, you just end up feeling sad over the one struggling. Do we need to use it at the doors here or something? Maybe Oscar? Hello again. Where's the golden treasure? I haven't found it yet. Examine the treasury. Is it this thing? Peace, young man. Where's the treasure? I haven't found it yet. Follow the water. Okay. I like that we at least can talk to her for some hints. But yeah, except for the treasure that was underneath the bell, this area is useless to us. Um. Hmm. Follow the water. Yeah, I think she means with the device over there. Um, yeah, yes. Maybe... I think like there's some button or something in the well there when you swam it. Uh, the well? Or the water pond or thingy uh, up there. Let's take a look here, yeah. Uh, I think there's a button down there. Let's see. I was saying that earlier, but we got distracted. Uh, you have to jump in to see it. I'm not seeing anything except for the groove to get, for it to flow out. Huh. All right, maybe I saw it wrong. Is it follow the water. Let me 
There's nothing here to use it on. I think I'm starting to remember something now about a flower or plant or something with this puzzle. But we need to find that first. Hmm. Is this of importance? Nope, can't interact. And if Indy doesn't interact with it, then there's not much of interest with it. Yeah, but it looks like something important. The way they placed it around. Let's see, was it only treasure up here? Yeah, only treasure. Those aren't doors, those are wall carp tapestries. <laughs> Which are basically wall carpets. Hmm. Okay, we are at two hours now. So... Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's... Okay, someone at the door. And it is about dinner time. So... Bit of an unsatisfactory ending to this. But, yeah, I'll, I'll look up where the hell that thing is supposed to be used for next time. And, yeah, we can make our progress here. Because, very obviously, there is something that we're missing. But, I can't see what. Maybe there is yeah. something back down in the bell tower. But, we'll have to see next time, then. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, for now, let's... Exit game, because we already made our save. Turn the display capture off. Is it? There we go. Okay. And we head over here, so we can go look for someone to raid. Uh, let's see. Start up the browser. This time, not accidentally <coughs> flash-banging the here. Change Pardon? over the screen window. Or the shared window. And let's see. Okay. We have Puffle Cakey who is streaming Pokemon Scarlet or Violet. Uh, Sour Walrus is streaming Elden Ring. Pexicle is streaming Grounded. <clears throat> Pardon. Uh, I'm a Flanker is streaming Call of Duty Warzone. What? Hmm? Screaming? Yeah, streaming? Streaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they might be screaming at their screen, though. Um, oh, yeah. Kiri has stopped slaying the uh, demons for a while, and then now they are streaming Project Zomboid. Uh, Lazy General is streaming Chef Life, and weren't they streaming that before as well? It... And then we have Ruffer Raccoon who is streaming S Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And if those sound interesting to read, or shall we go see for another recommended? Let's check the other recommended. Okay, let's see. We have Fancore streaming Chained Echoes. Uh, Dark Edge TV streaming Pharaoh A New Age. That's uh, City Builder, I believe. A New Era. Yeah. Not Age. <laughs> my, my eyes are failing the same as my mouth is, apparently. Uh, let's see. Aeonice is streaming Smite. Napsalm is streaming Inscription, and Leary Leary is streaming Please Be Happy. Oh dear. Uh, if none of those, I'm thinking uh, raid Kiri Natsuyoko just to see what they're up to in Project Zomboid. I, I, think, you know, I, I agree with you. Let's go with her. Okay, let me double check that the place is muted. It is. And yeah, as usual, copy, go to our place, slash raid and paste. Raid, not rave. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Tatum, for chatting along a bit. And yeah, I hope things are going a lot better now. You're getting insistent with calling it. And uh, yeah, thank you again, Ram, for co hosting, for co commentating a bit and <laughs> just some stories. And as always, thank you as well, Drakir.
You're welcome as always, my friend. And with that, it, let's start the raid. It, okay. I said start the raid. Come on. There we go. It was being a bit stubborn there. And uh, yeah, no stream tomorrow. Maybe the day after in the, in the evening. Uh, more likely after that, though. So uh, yeah. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for ice monsters. <clears throat>